Now this is the orientation we had our wheels in for our most recent ride, and a bumpy ride it was. But this is not the only orientation we need to have our four wheels. We could mount two of our wheels at a 45 degree offset to the other two, thus doubling the frequency with which one of the points of the squares hits the ground for every rotation. Or we could offset each wheel by 22 and a half degrees for every rotation, thus quadrupling the frequency with which one of the points hits the ground. Which one of these is gonna give us the smoothest ride? I haven't the slightest idea. That's why we're about to test this in small scale. And for that, they'll need a set of wheels. So Adam brings this out of the woodwork. I think that's a good start. Then it's time to tune up the treadmill to give it a run. All right, let's try this. First off, a little recap of why four in-sync wheels are so uncomfortable. Ow. But will offsetting the wheels by 45 degrees decrease the jolt factor? Much better. Wow. I didn't expect that to be so nice. Let's ramp it up. All right. <laughs> Two wheels offset diagonally at 45 degrees is a clear improvement. Yeah! But will the 22.5 degree combination be even better? The way this works is that one's always flat, one's always at 45, and the other two are in the middle. OK. Ooh. That's the oscillation I was worried about. Yeah. That's what we don't want to do, because that's what is going to flip the truck at speed. A closer look at the 22.5 proves that the chassis is bouncing up and down and side to side, making the 45 degree offset the most stable configuration. Our small scale test showed that the best configuration was to have two opposing corners with their points down, the opposite two corners with their flats down. That balances things out the best, and so that's what we're going to do full scale. Don't miss an all-new Mythbusters Sunday at 9, followed by an all-new Unchained Reaction at 10, only on Discovery.